guys okay I just turned on my camera tell me if for some reason my video this particular video is appearing blue because on my little monitor it looks really blue I don't know if it's my new bedding which I got some festive kind of new bedding um let me know but this video doesn't really matter I guess if the colors all because we are here today with my October beauty empties let's get started because I have quite a lot first off I will go ahead and start with a beauty blender I noticed the other day a little dark spot and so I like pinched a little piece out because I was concerned it might be mold so you know I got it out and then I cut it open and everything is fine and you can see just how little the foundation goes in case you're ever concerned and this is a dirty one it wasn't cleaned so you can see it just barely barely goes down in there and this side looked fine and I cut it again just to see and that is the little bit I don't think it's mold because it's foundation colored but I don't know what it is I could have because I was using this little beauty blender I need to get on with my story when I was doing some Halloween makeup so I might have touched it with something really dark but I've been using this since June I used it all through October until the very end so I got a fresh one it lasted me a long time okay next up a native deodorant and I have this in the scent matcha it was limited edition they do limited edition scents all the time while I love the native deodorant I really do it gets those like little deodorant balls and so I'll put it on and then I'll wait a little bit and I'll like use my hand and really rub my deodorant in and it kind of helps but I feel like it will still kind of ball up and I just don't want that so I don't know if I'll be repurchasing this or not okay a little shampoo and conditioner scent set this is that love beauty and planet argan oil and lavender shampoo I got this little mini from Ulta and I needed a conditioner to go with it so I found this little one at the drugstore it's the Garnier smoothing treat one minute hair mask they had different versions this is the avocado one I mean if you just need like a little bit of conditioner but you need more than a travel size I mean it's okay and that's kind of how I feel about this just okay neither ones are really repurchase worthy I need to get, show you some really good stuff this is the Tarte hair goals dry shampoo I picked this up in maybe like the spring Sephora sale and I have to admit it was like there was a lot of hype in this packaging it's really pretty and it looked really summery and that's what kind of sucked me in and it was just okay it smelled it's like that fresh scent it definitely left a white cast which I mentioned before if you spray your dry shampoo in before bed go to bed when you wake up it's pretty much absorbed it all and your hair isn't oily and then you don't have all the white cast but this wasn't like mind-blowing enough for me to say go buy it okay something I did love the one love organics vitamin B enzyme cleansing oil this was an oil cleanser I used at night to remove my makeup you know apply the oil to dry skin rub it in it really starts breaking stuff down add a little bit of water if lathers and rinses clean there's no washcloth involved or anything it worked really well this smelled amazing the enzymes I guess because I don't know for sure but I'd be willing to bet there was no fragrance it's almost like a pineapple scent it was really nice it is definitely on the more expensive end so if there's a sale I would definitely think about repurchasing it again I'm very sad that it's gone the Clinique Pep Start eye cream I used this as my daytime eye cream and I've gone through a few minis and then the full size and I liked it enough to buy the full size but I don't think I'll probably repurchase it I just me and eye creams I really like super moisturizing ones and while this was fine I just for me want a little bit more moisture if you were not looking for really intense then this would be fine for you plus I want ones 
you know, I'm trying to clean up my ingredients. It, I mean, it's a slow process, especially when you're on YouTube because the bulk of the videos are all like mainstream brands and it's so tempting to try stuff that you hear people talk about. So I started it and then I kind of was failing and now I'm back on trying to clean up my routine a little. Okay. Pureology. This is the Color Fanatic 21 Essential Benefits Multitasking Hair Beautifier. My friend Lauren, this is a leave-in like conditioning detangling spray. It does 21 things. Um, everything from leave-in, detangle, color fade, protects against heat damage, all that jazz. It was a nice spray-in. It was not bad by any means. But I don't think I'll repurchase it again. I really like the Redken Anti-Snap. It does the same thing to me. But I like it more. It's less expensive. So I don't know. If Ulta had this on their 21 Days of Beauty again for half off. That's not when I got this. I did buy this full price. I might would pick it up. But I don't know. I don't really use heat on my hair. So that's not something I need. You know. In my life. YSL the shock mascara this is a little deluxe size also my friend Lauren said that the she used the deluxe size and loved it purchased the full size and I think she returned it she said the full size was terrible so I'm not gonna be looking for a full size this is what the brush looks like it's a regular bristle one it just was drying out it was phenomenal while I was using it so I won't hunt it. I won't get a full size, but if I can get these little sizes again, I will definitely do that. Okay, I don't usually show hand soaps all that often unless I have like some real thoughts about it. But this is the Bath and Body Works Boardwalk Vanilla Cone. It comes out in the summer if it comes out again and you like vanilla sweet scents, get it. It's really good. And then the Yes 2 brand, this is the Coconut Lemongrass. I've been buying these. <clears throat> For the bulk of my house very rarely do i have a bath and body works hand soap i like the other scent um i think it's eucalyptus something it's like the more green label i like that one better but these are really good i get them at target and they usually have a cartwheel or something like that so i do really like that soap this is old <laughs> like i don't know if they still make it the bath and body works true blue spa shea it isn't so foot cream it was okay I mean, it was nice, but, you know. Okay, the Cashmere by Kim, whatever her name is. This is the Silken Body Polish. I absolutely love it. It is definitely a more oily one. It's a very good scrub. It has that good cashmere scent. I really do like her products. Okay, the girls used this. My mom's friend sells Mary Kay. Well, she... She does Mary Kay because she likes it, and she'll give my mom stuff occasionally. <laughs> excuse me and she gave my mom this and my mom gave it to the girls because it was this little baby pink container I don't know if it's picking up it's the two-in-one body wash and shave I've actually gone through one of these myself and I really like it it has this really like sweet fresh pretty scent if you want something I feel like my color all of a sudden got normal did y'all notice that let me know down below if you notice the change when I'm asking you about it um, maybe it was holding this up. If you like just like fresh, real feminine type scents and you know, somebody's having a Mary Kay party and you feel the need to buy something or you want to look on eBay for a cheaper whatever, it was, I mean, it was a really nice body wash. They enjoyed it. Okay. Clinique Moisture Surge. This is an one ounce of the original style. It's now a different one, the 72 hour that I much prefer. So I was happy to get this one out, but I do really enjoy the new one. Okay, these little things. Every once in a while, Ulta will have a coupon that's like 5 off of 10. And I'm not the type that I'm going to like spend money just to use a coupon. But the last time I was in there with one of those, I was buying something that was like $6. And it would be cheaper to use the coupon. So I found something that was $4, and it was the mask removing cloths. It came with 10 and it was these little discs that were that big around, very compact. Do you know those like little towels when you were a kid that you'd put in water and they'd expand? Same idea. They were just these little single-use cloths you could use to remove face masks. And they worked really well. 
I wouldn't spend four dollars for ten of them on the regular but if I ended up with a coupon and I needed to spend something or you know the 350 off 15 if you wanted to add that in you'd end up spending you know 50 cents for them they're not bad for that so I did want to mention that okay the Sunday Riley CEO vitamin C brightening serum this has glycolic acid in it I don't know what percent I don't know how much I do really enjoy this I just think the drunk elephant C firma is better that's just you know a case of I think one is better than the other not that this one's bad and the drunk elephant is a gel where this is a lotion and I feel like the gel just sinks in nicer so I don't know and I hear from people that use this that they go through it a lot quicker than they go through the drunk elephant one so you know okay I did use a box of hair dye I do that about um Two times in three years like it's not that often um, maybe three times in two years that's a better analogy and I used the Garnier Nutrice one and they just recently changed it it used to be this lady and now it's this lady it used to be called darkest brown now it's called sweet cola I'm pretty much putting this in here so if I ever need to reference it for this lady again I can this is my natural hair color I just have a few grays starting to come in I wanted to cover those up and at the end of the summer my hair lightens a little bit from being in the sun in the pool so I like to bring it back to my natural color so this is nothing different it's it's what you always see from me okay the Ulta Beauty Brightening Vitamin C Body Scrub I picked this up it was in one of those days of beauty when it was half off so it was like ten dollars and I did really enjoy it but originally it's like twenty dollars uh, for the Ulta beauty brand I just feel like that's a lot so I would not purchase at full price but on a deal or a sale I definitely will because I mean it is really nice okay I have a few wax things I'm gonna put to the side as I always do oh this this is an old thing I used to go through this and always repurchase it I don't know if I'll repurchase it again it's the Frederick Frakai glossing cream and used to you could get this at Bath and Body Works now you can't and I would especially after I curled my hair I'd put like a pea size amount in my hand rub it through and do this and it just gave my curls such a nice like shiny smooth took away any frizz kind of thing and I really liked it I may end up purchasing it again I don't know but I did really enjoy it the times I've had it like I said I've used it multiple times this was my husband's and I wanted to throw it in here to tell y'all it's just the Arm & Hammer Essentials Deodorant Fresh he wants to use a natural deodorant and he's used various ones that's UPS that was so loud okay they went away he doesn't have a baking soda sensitivity and one day he needed deodorant and he ran to Walmart and he got a two pack of these and he loves it and it's very inexpensive so maybe give these a try and you don't feel like you're wasting a lot of money to try something that's you know not an antiperspirant he really likes it okay the drunk elephant TLC Sukari baby facial this is the half ounce it came in a kit I picked up in the spring crazy thing okay I had a little sample pot made at Sephora before I got the kit with this and I really liked it I felt like everybody that talks about it like a facial in a bottle all this I felt like it really did that and then I got this and I just didn't really it just didn't really impress me the herbivore blue tansy mask is to me does what everybody talks about this a little more mild it's not quite as like burning your face off it's less expensive it's not so harsh if you're looking for something like that try the herbivore blue tansy I think that's what it's called yeah okay vanilla hand and body cream hand lotion from Bath and Body Works I really hate these kind of lids like it's a world of wonder that I haven't lost that lid okay 
wax fragrance the Clinique dramatically different hydrating jelly I got this little sample from Ulta and it was really nice I was using it as like a little pre moisturizer before my moisturizer I really enjoyed it I don't I don't know that I would purchase it but I did enjoy it while I had it okay these little tinkle razors I use these very rarely but occasionally and I kind of will do that to the little peach fuzz that's right there. I don't have a mustache, thank goodness, that I don't have that to worry about. I don't like shave all over here. But occasionally, you know, you'll see like a glance and your foundation or powder is like in the peach fuzz. And that's not a look I like on myself. So occasionally I'll use this. And no, I don't have black hair on my face and it's not thicker or anything of the sort. So don't worry about that. Or Acacia Refreshing Peppermint Aromatherapy Mineral Bath. That's how it feels. Okay, let's do the little full packets and then we'll do some wax. The Erin Amber Musk. I love this. I have like a travel size. Amber Musky. Delicious, sweet. You know, I think it's like a good... Um, winter scent fall briogeo don't despair repair deep conditioning mask there for a while everybody was raving about this and while i think it's fine i don't think it's bad at all just using the skin sample packet doesn't make me want to buy it <clears throat> skin simply clean gel and gentle cleanser cream I definitely liked the Gentle Cleanser Cream more. I've used three of these. I got them like in the mail one day. These three random full packets. And all of their face washes were really nice. Oh, yeah, I did like this Simple Clean Gel. It was a refining cleanser with a light acid. And I did like that now that I'm thinking about it. My skin is not looking the best right now. Because we were camping over the weekend. And uh, I just... My skin didn't really do good with the nature world. Okay, a Bite Agave Sugar Lip Scrub. This is just like one little thing. When I was rubbing it on, it was so like thick that I was like, I'll never get this layer of oil off. But I really liked it. Uh, like the fresh lip scrub, I did not like, but I liked that. This is the Indie Lee Eye Waken Eye Serum. Do you remember the last Sephora sale? That was like at the end of the summer when we did that random 20% off and I bought the Indie Lee little kit. I've been using the sample since. Day and night. As an eye serum. That's how much was in this little packet. And it's so thin. You don't need much. I just didn't notice it really did anything. But like I said earlier, in my needs, I like a moisture. I, like I want more moisture. So that could have been it. Okay, this is that Origins Dr. Andrew Well for Origins Mega Mushroom Skin Relief Face Mask. I was able to get this little packet, which I don't think they even have anymore at Sephora. I used it maybe two or three times. And I feel like I really liked it. I just can't remember that much about it because it's been a while. I probably finished it like the beginning of October. But it was very soothing. It was one of those like creamy lotion ones that just sets on your skin. Not really one that gets hard, you know. But I feel like it was really soothing to my skin. I wish that this line, all these products I'm curious about. But I wish they would have them in like some minis. Or Sephora would do a 500 point perk with them or something. Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream Sample. I loved it. Okay, now to wax. The Wallflowers Pistachio Ice Cream. It's a good scent, but I think I'm kind of sick of it because I've used a few in a row. So I do need to take a break on that. Okay, House of Gloy. This is like one of those indie brands and they make body products primarily. But this year they came out with wax tarts for I think the first time. I could be wrong. So I picked up two in Ghost Puffs. I've only used one. It had absolutely no throw. No throw whatsoever not even a little bit so I've been letting the other one just set around hoping that like it develops more scent over time 
but it was really disappointing because the ghost puff scent in the body spray the body cream the body scrub all that it's delicious i love it i'm honestly just happy i didn't buy more than two okay better homes and gardens vanilla bean buttercream i think this is no longer available it's a really good basic scent and sensationals cranberry oatmeal cookie i think i got it last year it was really good too um I mean, not one I'm going to go like hunt down on eBay, but I did enjoy it. The Mrs. Myers Clean Day Apple Cider Scent. I love this. This is soy. I do want to get to use, I would like to start using more soy and not, you know, paraffin and everything. Like I smell it in the jar. I think I'm getting a phone call. I put my phone on silent, but I hear it beeping, like buzzing. It just didn't have much throw. I get that. It's smaller, but, you know, it's hard to get away from, like, those really strongly scented candles when that's what you're used to. Speaking of, Bath and Body Works, Cider Lane. I love this. Okay, so when I was pregnant with Vera, my youngest, she will be three in January. I really overdosed it on apples. Apple scents, apples, apple flavor, apple juice. I loved apples. And it took until just recently for me to get back into apple stuff. Because I had like over overdone it. And this is so good. I did go pick up another one because I didn't want to be without it. Oh man. It is warm caramel, granny smith apple, dark brown sugar, and ground clove. And if you're an apple person, try some honey crisp apples. You will not be disappointed. Okay. This is the DW Homes brand from TJ Maxx, Home Goods, all those. And they're usually really great candles. Well, they had this one, which is a really pretty um, container. And it's the Heirloom Pumpkin Scent. I don't know if it has a description. It was only $9.99. And it was very strong. Like, I had to blow it out because it would just make my house so strong. And I had a friend come over and she liked it so much. She went looking for it because she loved it. And you can see it burned down nicely there. But I don't know if you can tell. I mean, it's a very thin layer. But it left a remnant all the way around. Now, I got... I don't know if it says how many hours it would burn. But it lasted a long, long time. I burned it... I feel like it's lasted me months. Probably since August. I didn't burn it consistently. Because I had to take breaks because it was so strongly scented. But this shape, you will have some left on the side, but you do get a lot. And it lasts a really long time. And this heirloom pumpkin scent. Oh, here it is. Heirloom pumpkin with zesty citrus and sweet brown sugar stirred with spicy cinnamon. It was right there the whole time. This whole time, I've never noticed that. So, if you see it, pick it up. It's really worth checking out. So, that is all for my empties right now. I'm going to get off here and enjoy a little bit of nap time. But I promise I will be back later in the week with a favorites video. And maybe something else. If you have any recommendations or suggestions or video ideas, let them know down below. I know one of you asked me to do a lip product collection video. I don't know. Maybe. I think I need to do a good lip product declutter before I film that. <laughs> I do also have another declutter I need to film, but I feel like lately all I've been doing is like empty stuff or things I don't want or just a collection. So I'm kind of wanting to do some other stuff, but I just don't know what I want to film. So y'all let me know. So that is all for now. I'll let you guys go. Bye.